Good morning, Chair. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Shall we start now? Yep. Yes. So I think we have finished everything on course book for unit 18, right? So we have to move to one book, right? Yes. Yes. So Walk book page number 106, and we will do the crosswalk first while we do the others. Okay. So, while you are doing this one, we will look at the crosswalk as usual. Okay.
นี้น้องอะไรเอ๋ถ้าจะเป็นสไตส์ no almost 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 almost
<clears throat> so have you finished? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Did you get all the answers? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. So shall we check now? Yes. So number three was that one. What is the answer for number three? A pop play by an actor. Role. Role, correct. It has four letters, right? So the answer is role for number three. And how about number five? A group of people chosen to decide the winner of a competition or a group of people chosen to decide if a person is guilty or not in a court of law. Jury. 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 Yes, correct. Jury. And how about number seven? A person in a play or in a book. How do we call that? Character. Character, yes. Character. Character. And how about number eight? Something that covers all or part of your face. Mask. 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 Yes, correct. Mask. Someone who writes plays. Playwright. Playwright. And you know the spell, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. And how about number 15? A play for a theater, something unusual, exciting that happens. Drama. Drama, yes. So how about 17, a play or a film that makes you laugh? Comedy. It's a comedy, yes, correct. And 18, lighting, sound, and objects that are specially produced for the stage or a film, they make something that does not exist seem real. Effects. Effects, yes, correct. So did you get all the answers for the cross one, everyone? Yes. 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 How about the others? Did you get the answers? Yeah, no, 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 no. Now so, you mean 17 and 18, right? Yes. Yes, for 17, the answer is comedy. And for number 18, the answer is effects. Got it? Number 10. Awesome, number 10, okay, number 10 is, oh, number 10. I skipped number 10, right? Yes. In Greek, in Greek drama, a group of people who speak together commenting on the action. How do we call that group of people? Chorus. Chorus, yes. How do you spell that? C-H-O-R-U-S. Correct. C-H-O-R-U-S. Correct. So did you get all the answers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then, so we'll move to the down ones. Number one is to express your choice by officially writing a mark on a paper or by putting up your hand. How do we call that? Vote. 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 Yes, vote. And two is something you win in a competition. Price. Price, Price. correct. And four is a large group of musicians who play together. How do we call that group? Orchestra. Orchestra. Orchestra, yes, correct. Orchestra. And six, not real, created in the imagination. How do we call that? Imaginary. Imaginary. Imaginary, correct. Imaginary. And number nine is a serious play that ends sadly. Tragedy. Tragedy. Tragedy, yes. It's the opposite of number 17 across, right? So tragedy, correct. And 10, clothes worn by an address in a play. Costumes. Costumes. Costume, correct. Costume. And 11 is based on facts and situation as they really are. Realistic. 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 The answer is realistic. Yes, correct. And 12 is a long poem, look, a book or film that tells the story of people and events from the past. How do we call that kind of poem? Epic. Epic, correct. Epic. And how about 13? A small model of a person that you can move with strings or by putting your hands inside it. How do we call that? Perfect. Perfect. Yes, correct. And 16 is great and Roman amphitheaters has seats arranged in tire rows. Rows, correct. So we have finished the course one, right? So did you get all the answers, everyone? Yes, sure. Yes. How about the others? Did you get all the answers? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, I got it. Okay, great. So let's move to the bed. 
two. Number two is quite easy, right? Match the words in the two column and use them in uh, to complete the sentence. So open. Air. Open air, yes, correct. And see me? Circle. Circle, correct. Horse. Shoe. Shoe. Make. Up. Up. Best. No. So you have to use these pairs to fill the blanks here. Okay, so we'll do this one and after that we'll check the answers again. Okay, so tell me the answer for number one. Address and space are from where? Makeup. 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 Yes, correct. They get to change the appearance of the address's certain features. And number two is made a blank by folding a circle of paper in half. What is that? Semicircle. 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 Semi or semicircle. Yes, correct. And number three, the blank shape in the sense made the audience believe that a horse has passed by. <laughs> Horseshoe. Horseshoe. Yes. Horseshoe shape, correct. And for the Greek and Roman, the form they're placed in open air. Open air. Open air. Open air. Open air. Yes, open air theater, right? And the, the last one, William Shakespeare is the best, best known. Best known English playwright, right? And you know uh William Shakespeare, right? Yes. Yes. So can you name uh at least like three plays that Shakespeare write? Oh. Uh Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet, yes. Romeo and Juliet and like Pamela. Hamlet. <laughs> oh yeah, Hamlet. 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 So I need one more name. Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, and can I get one more? King Lear. Yes, okay. <laughs> King Lear. So you know Shakespeare your well, right? I think Romeo and Juliet will be the uh, famous one, right? Yes. Uh, a Midsummer Night Dream the theater. Ah, uh, okay. So you know much, right? Okay. Okay, so let's move to number three then. Complete the conversation with used to and above from the board. So you have to use used to and these above to fill the blanks here. So number one has been then I used to go. So go has been used, right? Okay, so what do number three?
So have you finished? Yes, true. Yes, okay. So tell me the answer for number two. Didn't used to have. Didn't used to? Have. Have, yes. Didn't used to have a TV, correct? Not have so to. Have to hmm? Not have go under my right. Ah, not have, yes. Sorry. Didn't used to have, so yes, not have. So how about number three? It went at nine o'clock. So it used to open. Used to open. Open, okay, used to open. Correct. And how about number four? First, we used to sing. Used to sing, yes, correct. Used to sing. And how about number five? Did you used to have popcorn? So question of all, right? Did you used to have popcorn? Yes, correct. And how about number uh, six? You know, we didn't. We used to have. We used to have an ice cream or ice lolly. So how about number seven? The children are sitting upstairs. Used to drop. Used to drop. drop. Correct, yes. Used to drop their lolly stick on the chair sitting below. And how about the last one? Used to shout. To shout. We used to shout and scream and cheer. Correct. So did you get all the answers on the three? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. Okay, so on stage, off stage. So what is this one? Number one. So we have like uh, the job and their responsibility again. So you just have to fill the blanks, which is quite easy.
黑太阳睡了，黑太阳，黑太阳睡了。Don't you easy, she loves it too easy. Don't you easy, she loves it too easy. Okay, so what is the answer for number one? The writer. Right. Yes, correct. And how about two? Actors. 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 And uh, how about number three? Audience. 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 And how about number four? The designer. Nature. Stage, Stage manager. manager. Stage manager. Stage or manager. Stage, Stage manager. Stage manager. Right. Stage manager. Right. And how about number five? Set designer. Designer. Set designer. designer. Correct. And how about number six? Costume designer. Costume designer. And how about number seven? Lighting and sound. Lighting and sound. Lighting and sound technician, right? Yes. And how about the last one? Backstage, Backstage crew. crew. Backstage crew, correct. So let's move on to number two. Choose the correct option that write the name of each uh, job. Name of the job each sentence refers to. So look at number one. You need to have a good memory to learn your lies. So that is the answer. That the answer is the actor, right? And number two, you have to make sure the actors are on scene or on stage at the right time. So what is the right answer for the sentence? On stage. Yes, on stage. And whose responsibility is that? Stage manager. Stage manager. So the answer is stage manager right here, right? And number three, you need to be able to imagine what the set or setting will look like. Set. Set or setting? <laughs> <laughs> the setting, right? Or the setting set. will look like, right? So whose responsibility is that? Set designer. Set designer, yes. And number four, you need to know a, a lot about the histories of fashion, particularly if the play is put or set in the past. Set. Set in the past, correct. And who, whose responsibility is that? Um, costume designer. Costume designer, correct. And five, you need to be able to use light to produce fantastic, special effect or effects. Effects. Effects, right? Yeah. Effects. Yes, correct. And whose responsibility is that? Lighting and sound technicians. Lighting and sound technician, correct. So the last one, you need to have good woodworking skills because you may need to make scenery or things. Scenery. Scenery, yes. And whose responsibility is that? Um, backstage crew. Backstage crew, yes, correct. So did you get all the answers for number two, everyone? Yes. Yes, okay. So let's move to number three. In each pair of the sentence, we analyze words in the first sentence, give a clue to missing words in the second sentence. Write in the missing words. Okay, the first one, she is a very uh, well-known director. So she is, she has directed a lot of plays like that. So number two, both of my parents are actors. I have always wanted to. Yes, act. Act, correct, act. And three, I like the design for the set. What's the name of the set? Designer. Designer, yes. And four, he can express himself really well. He has got a great range of... Expressions. Expressions, correct. Yes, expressions. And five, the director will make a decision about who to cast in the main role. So I'll let you know when she is or she has. Decided. 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 Yes, so she has decided. And six, you have to be able to speak clearly and project your voice 
clear blend and a strong voice essential. Speaking. Clear speech, yes, and a strong voice are essential, correct. And seven, the director and the actor work on the interpretation of a play. There are different ways of blend the same play. Interpreting. Interpreting, correct. Interpreting the same play. And eight, the role is very, uh, is well within your capability. You are a blend of great things. Capable. Capable of, correct. Capable of great things. So, did you get all the answers for number three, everyone? Yes, sure. How about the others? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, for number uh, for the next exercise is from script to performance. So, you have to write uh, the script again for scene three. So, I want to skip this one. Is that okay? Yes. It's oh, right. Right. okay. No, no. 你先來呀,呢?啊,我,啊,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演,你把我演演
我哋可以成嘅唔知點嘅嘛。但係之後唔識煲嘅啦，就但係嚟咪講咯。Yes yes， 哦，邊檔冇煲俾人嚟食嘅嘢，邊檔冇俾人當養老鼠嘅，係對嘅。一片咧就食對嚟嘅，嗱，而邊檔邊檔冇出包錄票咯，你出包先錄到嘅時候，邊冇出包錄票嘅，邊有你出包就出包完咪變垃圾嘅嚟食嘅，而出包嘅邊檔邊有好似嚟拍片嘛，有冇嚟食嘅，嗰下嚟嗰啲嘅，就食包票嘅咩，好邊咯，而阿老老大家哩，你睇到老先生做阿四样嘢，得大嚟讲点啊？比如都开嚟打四样嘢，你冇事。阿罗，阿老家住到做咩嘢啊？喏，阿罗，七百万，快啲嚟啲。阿老妈就成日讲，千年啲人嘛，千年啲人嘛，就成日上美国上外套路讲嘛，你好得啦。阿罗，阿老妈以啊 A 站嘅老大，我咪七大，我成日上咯，就成日有钱嚟，咪啲人咁好，好俾啦。阿罗，过年又做嚟嘅，边一类出路边啊？佢哋拢出嚟。Okay, alright. Jangan nak terlalu lama jadi macam mana? Jangan nak terlalu lama jadi macam mana? Okay. Okay. Biar saya nak lihat lagi. Nanti, nanti masa itu lalu dia sudah lihat. Nanti saya jadi nanti apa yang dia lihat? Saya rasa macam macam yang sama punya. TV tu ada juga. Angin lebar jangan macam angin lebar mana di bongsan ni nasi lusi yang macam 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 奶奶啥哩？飞机了没吧？哪里没表现来 ？OK， 二了。Eighteen B 档 ，Eighteen B 档，你说来说个，我那么多的，七百么多的吧？嘛，人家说了，谁么变的档？什么 Seventeen 档没说？那，二十三 Mary 可别档的个。Thirteen。嗯？二十三 Mary 不要歪了。Thirteen 的全员的 Thirteen。Thirteen 啊。英雄。Thirteen, okay. Thirteen, so in this way, we got a lot of change. Thirteen, we got in this way, we got 15 dollars in this way. This way, we got 17 or you give me. Or this way, we got 12 points on my server. Thirteen, how big is it? How big is it? Okay. Big or mature? Huh? Ah, ha, 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 ha. ไอ้เขียนว่าเขียนว่าเขียนว่าอยากจะไปดูไหมเออตัวนี้เราจะตัวการเอ่อที่เซมิริกาฟิฟตีนของตัวที่เราเห็นข่าวข่าวตอนไ
Oh, this is my response. Yes. Probably. Yes. Probably. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I will start with you, Linda. Ah, uh, sorry. But I think uh, people actually do commit crimes because maybe because they might need some money or they need to support their family, so they don't they don't know how to work or something like this. So they commit crimes and they'll steal money from others. So this is the main yeah. reason for other. So like I would say it's like they are lack of money and they they would do crimes if they are lack of money. So you mean because of the poverty, right? Yes, poverty. Mm, okay. Great link. Uh. So you can pick up next one. Okay. Yeah, how about you? How do you think that? Uh? Yeah, I, I think it's absolutely uh dependent on depends on the financial decisions. Uh for example, like most people commit crimes like stealing a robbery and like stealing jewelry jewelry in like shops just because they have financial problems like that but other than that we also have the psychological past as well where people have mental issues and commit crimes because they cannot control their emotions and other things similar to that so it depends on what a people is committed to do rather than their reasons because they have their own reasons to commit their crimes some people hate the like the rules and regulations the government provide for them some don't have money and some have mental issues so it People have many reasons for committing crimes. I think like that. Okay, thank you, Uncle B, for discussing. So, can you pick up next one for me, Dan? Alex. Alex. Okay. How do you think, Dan? Um. First reason might be because of the lower level of society. Like people on very low level, they have to work hard to get money. And even if they do work extremely hard, they won't get enough wage to support their families or whatever they have. So they have to get money illegally most of the time. So that's also one of the reasons why they commit crimes. Another reason might be how human mental works. Sometimes if you have killed once, like if you have committed a crime once, then um, you might have another mental activation inside your head that makes you addicted to crime so for example if you like torturing people then you will try to torture more people probably watch them die and stuff like that psychopathy and shit so that's also another reason like serial killer right mm -hmm. yeah okay so alice can you pick up this one for me now uh that's it that's it Right. So crime happen when people make mistakes exceed the limit, and crime happen when they are very happy, and like when they are very bad. Ah, see, I I hear the sound. <clears throat> so can you repeat your answer again? As I can't hear you clearly because of the sound. Okay. So, same thing with me. Ah, uh, seriously, Pasi, you're not listening to me. You're listening to the well, song. Well, no, I can, I got my, I can do the multifocal thing, like, like. Really? That. Yes. Sir. Okay, so whatever you have to repeat your answer again. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Yeah. Crime actually happen when people mental state like exceed the limit, like crimes happen when they are very happy or like when they are very mad and dark. So that's all. That's all okay. So can you pick up next one from the girls this time? Cindy. Cindy, okay. Cindy, are you there? I, I, for me, I think like because kitten can be free from the mistake and also like if we got many stressful and we have many disappointing things, our minds are not really stable and like we try to make a crime, I think we can take that win. Mm. Okay. It means like okay. we can control our mind. It was kind of you know, that we can see that we can control it. That's why. Right. Sometimes we can't control our anger or yes, kind of yeah, mental state. So can you pick up next one, Cindy? Uh, from the girls, yeah. From girls, yeah. So miniature. 
Let me say, okay. Let me say, what's your idea to me? Um, I think they might have some traumas. Oh. A person might want to take revenge on the others because that person might or may or may not have killed his parents or stuff like that. Okay. I think it's revenge. Revenge. Okay. So thank you, Mamiya So can you pick up the last person for me from the girls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. You yes. Um, I think sometimes the criminals are forced to do the crime. It's like oh. mentally or physically. Yes, they are being threatened, and sometimes they did it like they commit crime and in and and intentionally because they have lost their mind. Ah, okay. Yes. So you also present another different idea. Thank you, Demi. Okay, so we'll continue. Um, I, okay, hey, that's it. It is okay. Okay. So you give uh, like different reasons, right? Okay, so all of them are yes, yes, re uh, reasonable, right? To uh, commit the crime. So let's move to speaking there. Look at the chart. So can you see the chart there? What do you think the minimum age of criminal responsibility should be? Give your reason. So these are the minimum age of criminal responsibility. The chart shows the age at which young people can be convicted of criminal offense in certain countries. So in Philippines, 15, right? And Finland, 15, Sweden, 15, or in Japan, is 14, right? And in Vietnam, 14. Netherlands 12 and Switzerland is 10 and in England, Wales, the United Kingdom is 10 and for Scotland is 8. How about our country? Do you know about that? How about in our country? Which is the minimum Seven. age of criminal responsibility? 7 in our country? Really? I don't know. I looked up. <laughs> <laughs> How about the others? Did you know about that? No. I think it's 15 or 16, right? Because I'm not quite sure about that. Like, it's like 15 or 16, right? Am I right? Okay, no one has got an idea. Okay, so we'll discuss this question again. So I'll give you some time to think, okay? And after that, I'll ask you guys one by one again. So you have to give your reasons, like, right? Uh, you can uh, you can use these phrases. I think it should be like like for example like mm, like twelve like because at the age you know the difference between right and wrong. So you have to suggest the minimum age and you have to give reason why. Okay, but I don't agree. I I think that is too young or amazing. For example, the situation in which a child older brother asks them to uh, for example. So you can get the ideas from here. So you have to suggest the minimum age and then you have to give your reason. Okay. So I'll give you like two or three minutes to think about that. So did you get the ideas? Not really. No. Not, really? Okay. Uh, Not yet. Okay. Yeah, idea. Hey, Sam, what did you say, Dan? Yeah, that one was a bad idea. I want to cheat. 
idea mom was she do or certainly a bit below yeah how I think it on a that was not high enough so nine and it was fun on it when I was in and I was called as a shinna lucky to be so sorry there are how are a bit you don't have to operate on a full of him up you don't have to do a son on your mark is okay it's one of these are so don't it's only the penis my age is right you need to be a lot of money he's a lot of young man oh So did you get the ideas, guys? Yes. Yes. Senator Yavino? Yes. Okay. 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 I think it should be 13 because 13 is the age where we become a complete teenager. And I think every 30 years old can differ the difference between what's good and what's bad and what's right and what's wrong. Okay, so you mean 13, right? Okay. Yeah. So can you pick up next one for me, please? Aka. Aka, okay. Aka, okay. you're fine. Okay, I'm fine. Huh? Can I type? Yes, you can type. Okay, so you share the same idea with Nancy, right? So yes, you also suppose 13 is the appropriate age to take action for what he did. Okay, so Aka, can you pick up next one for me, Dan? Uh, Alice. Alice, okay. Alice, for me, how do you think? And I think it's 13 years old because I they want to take the risk. And also, they don't usually listen to their parents. <laughs> okay, so that's me, right? Okay. Yes. So, can you pick up next one for me, Uh, Poo Poo Dango. Poo Poo Dango, how do you think? Um, I think it should be uh, 10 years or older. Uh, because at the age, uh, at the ages, uh, it is all and to understand what's right and what's wrong. Uh, yeah, that's all. That's all. Okay. So thank you, Pupu. So can you pick up next one for me, please? 
um, um, Indy. Indy has finished. Uh, okay. So. Okay. How do you think? Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, I think it should be over 13. Yeah. Uh, because at the age, I think you will know that which is wrong or right. And then I hope uh, you will know that stealing things or something from the other is not a good habit. Yeah. That's all. Okay. So according to you, 13 and above or 13 above, right? Yeah. Okay, so can you pick up the last person for me, Dami? Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, uh, she uh, in -J. In -J, Sandy. Okay, Sandy, you will be the last one. Can I be Aaron again? Uh huh. I've already been there. It was the first year one. But not the same question, right? So you can yeah. you can answer whatever. So yeah. So how do you think? I think like maybe fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Because and of like uh, and just fifteen is is to the end. For fifteen, at the age of fifteen, we can be taught what is right, what is wrong. So uh, for that age, if we make any mistake, we have to like uh, how can I say can. Uh, if I make some new mistake, I'm 15, so I should uh, accept the consequences of my mistake. I think because I, I yeah, because I'm 15. So 16 is the most of a great age, right, to take action. Okay, thank you, Cindy. And thank you, everyone, for sharing your ideas. Okay, so let's continue to number two. I said, Nandri, I can't get a question of who we are, and then the bad ones, you guys are quite lucky. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Yes, cheer. That is your chat, and what you already give me that feeling that you're full of love. Okay, yeah, you can send it to me. Okay, so for number two, number three, the one, no? read the vocabulary box and complete is using these words and phrases. So, what do number two now? Okay, so you can, uh, you will know different kinds of crimes, meaning criminals and box. So, you just have to fill the blanks by using the what from the box here. Okay.
Okay, so according to you, it's this team, right, Hazen? Okay. So have you finished number two, guys? Yes, teacher. Oh, Bill. Yes. Okay. So let's check the answers then. Okay. So for the first one is arson, right? Setting fire to something, especially a building, in order to damage or destroy it, and the criminal is arsonist, right? So, and the bob is to set fire to something, right? And the second one is assault, attacking someone physically. And how about the criminal officer? Attacker. Hmm? Attacker. Uh, attacker, right? And yes. do you have different answer with her? No. 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 Just attacker. Okay, so to assault R, uh, attack, right, for the ball form is. So how about theft? Taking something that belongs to someone else and keeping it. So how about the criminal? Thief. Thief. Thief, yes, correct. Thief. And for the Bob is to steal something, right? And shoplifting, taking something from a blend without paying for it. So what is that? Shop. Shop. Yeah, yes, and uh, for the criminal, it is shot lift, uh, lifter and to shot lift. Yes, correct. And how about burglary? Going into a building to plant things. Steal. Steal. Steal things. Yes, for the criminal, that is burglar and bug, uh, burglar, right? And uh, number four, number six, right? Stealing something from someone, um, right? Stealing from someone or from a place, armed robbery. So, the crime is robbery. Robbery. That for the criminal, that is robber, and for the bug is rob, right? And joint riding, stealing a blank or other vehicle. So what is the answer for number seven? Car. Car, yes. Stealing a car or other vehicle and driving it fast and dangerously for fun. So for the criminal, that is joint rider, and for the bug to join right. And the last one, nagging. Blend someone in public place in order to steal from them. Assaulting. Yes, assaulting someone in public place in order to steal from someone. And for the criminal, that is Niger, and for the bug is Mac. So did you get all the answers for number two, everyone? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> How about the others? Did you get the answers for number two? Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's move to listening now. So listening, <laughs> number three, listen, what happened? Choose one of the following sentences for each person. Two of the sentences are not needed. Okay, so we will read the question first and after that I'll play the listening script, okay? So read it first.
Track 30. So can I play now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'll play. One. I was walking through the shopping centre early on Saturday morning. There weren't many people around and I was just looking in a shop window. Suddenly, there was someone in front of me. He asked me to hand over my mobile phone. I said no. He grabbed my jacket, pulled me towards him and said, give me your phone or else. I didn't want to get hurt, so I gave him my phone. Two. I got home from work and parked the car in the usual place. It was quite late and it was already dark. The kitchen looked a bit untidy and I thought, why are the cupboards and drawers open and why is there stuff on the floor? It was only then that I noticed the kitchen window had been broken. When I looked in my room, I found that my laptop and my camera were missing. 3. I was with some friends in a cafe, and we were chatting and laughing and having a nice time. It was quite warm, so I'd taken my jacket off and put it on the back of my chair with my back. I didn't see anyone suspicious or anything, but when it was time to pay, I put my jacket on and felt for my wallet to get some money out, but the wallet had gone. Someone must have put their hand in my jacket pocket and taken it. 4. I got off the bus and walked home. As I got closer, I thought, someone's having a huge bonfire. Then, as I got to the end of my street, I saw smoke, a lot of smoke and flames. I heard someone say, it's the old shop at the end of the road, you know, the one that's been empty for years. So did we get all the answers one by three, everyone? Yes. Yes. So tell me, what, ha what has happened to the first person? He has been mugged. He has been mugged. So the answer is number two, right? Yes. So that is number one. So how about number two? What has happened to him or her? Um, she has been burgled. She has been burglar, yes, correct. So number A, right? The answer is number A, and the answer is number two. Two. Uh, okay, it's okay for me, Kat. Okay. So how about the dead person? What happened to him or her? His wallet has been stolen. His wallet has been stolen, so number B, right? And three. So how about the last person? What happened to her? A building has been set on fire. Yes, she saw a building has been set on fire. So the answer is number F, right? So that is number four answer. So did you get all the answers for number three, everyone? Yes. 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 How about the boys? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, okay. Okay, so this time we'll move to number four. You have to listen again, and these pictures show what happened in three of the situation in exercise three, not four. So however, one detail in each picture is incorrect. So you have to find out one detail in each picture is incorrect according to the listening script, and what is wrong with the picture. So you have to give the explanation. What is the difference between from the script and the picture? So I think you cannot see the pictures clearly in your book, right? So you can see right here, so look at the picture first, and after that, I'll play it again, and you have to find out the answer, okay? So look at the pictures here. Can you see clearly on my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. So can I play now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Track 30. One. I was walking through the shopping center early on Saturday morning. There weren't many people around and I was just looking in a shop window. Suddenly, there was someone in front of me. He asked me to hand over my mobile phone. I said no. 
He grabbed my jacket, pulled me towards him, and said, "Give me your phone, or else." I didn't want to get hurt, so I gave him my phone. Two. I got home from work and parked the car in the usual place. It was quite late and it was already dark. The kitchen looked a bit untidy, and I thought, "Why are the cupboards and drawers open? And why is there stuff on the floor?" It was only then that I noticed the kitchen window had been broken. When I looked in my room, I found that my laptop and my camera were missing. Three. I was with some friends in a cafe, and we were chatting and laughing and having a nice time. It was quite warm, so I'd taken my jacket off and put it on the back of my chair with my bag. I didn't see anyone suspicious or anything, but when it was time to pay, I put my jacket on and felt for my wallet to get some money out, but the wallet had gone. Someone must have put their hand in my jacket pocket and taken it. Four. I got off the bus and walked home. So, did you get all the answers for all the three pictures here, guys? Did you get the answers for four? Yes. Okay, yeah, last one. Oh, yes. yeah, right now. Okay, yeah, it's a last one. So we'll look at the first picture. So, what is the difference between what you hear and what you see in the picture? What happened to the picture? Huh? Okay, yeah, it's way away. It's not a phone. It's not a phone. So according to the listening script, it has to be a phone, right? Uh, he said he gave it a phone and that watch. Yes, but in the picture there is a watch, not a phone, right? So that would yeah. be the fact that it's not in. That is not correct, right? So it has to be the phone, not the watch, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So how about the second one? The window wasn't broken. The window. The window. Yes. According to the script, it has to be broken, right? Yes. But here, yep. yes. So this one. And how about the last one? The jacket. Okay. The jacket, not the bag, right? So it has to be the jacket behind the chair, not the bag here, right? He is still wearing the jacket in the picture, right? Yes. 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 So did you get all the answers for number four, everyone? Yes. Yes. Why not ask number four? So I want to stop right here for today. So is there any question for today' lessons, everyone? No. No. no Oh, as usual. Okay, so bye bye. We'll see you tomorrow again. Okay. Bye, Jay. See you tomorrow, Jay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.